This tutorial concerns doors. To place a door, we first must have a wall. So let's draw ourselves a quick room and then select the door icon. We have quite a few doors here, uh, various styles. Um, to select a door, you then select the method of placement. This is free placement. Here we have position of door at set distance, and here we have position of door midway between two points. So for free placement, you just can place the door anywhere you wish. Notice as we place the door that we have dimension lines indicating the distance away from the end parts of the wall. Selecting this option will allow us to define where along that wall here two meters from the edge we wish the door to be placed. Selecting the last option is allowing us to place the wall or to place the door midway between two points. We can actually set the uh, dimensions of the door prior to placement and if you wish to retain that default set the default by pressing set default. Alternatively you can actually change the both the boot size and the uh, hinge mechanism of a door by selecting the door and changing the parameters. You can also select a door in 3D mode and you get to the same door dialog. Clicking this icon you can actually change the style of the door. You can also move a door in 3D. Although you don't have such a precise um, ability to set the exact position. The dialog here does actually from the left side and the right side the ability to enter the exact position. There is in fact another form of door which is called the door macro. This is a special variant of the door. This door allows us to design doors. This is in fact a subject of a separate tutorial. We have a whole range of different door styles in here. All of these doors have been designed using the door macro. Door macros cannot be animated. Like every other object, doors can be textured. I can change my textures. Both inside and outside the frame. You can also select the texture and drag a texture directly onto the door. That concludes our tutorial on doors.